Hey guys, I'm back, and today, you may have n known that I've been, um, working with drawing Sonic characters, <coughs> and Sonic OCs. So, I decided why not do a tutorial on the things you need to know when, when drawing a Sonic OC. First off, this is Iran. This is just a test print to, well, not print. Rosé are always going to have wings. And then I tested with a blue wing. Oh yeah, and over here, this is a Sonic OC I made my friend. Could have done better on the eyes, but eh, let's decent. Yeah, then I thought, what if I gave him a blue jetpack? Anyway, this is the first female Sonic OC I've ever made. I'm not really going to say what his name is because it would be obvious. What? Okay, I'm just going to say it. Her name's Emily. And then I decided to try and draw some Undertale characters, well, Undertale AU characters as Sonic characters. This is supposed to be Ink Sands. And over here is Air Sands. <laughs> I don't know why those are the first two I decided to draw, but <clears throat> I think they turn out pretty good. And I found that I, nope, not there. Right here, I have an extra sheet of paper. And I'm going to show you guys the basic principles of what you need to know if you're wanting to draw a Sonic character. First off, I'd recommend drawing. You first want to get an idea of what you want to draw. <coughs> and then, once you get an idea, you want to basically trace a circle Like that. And this is the basis for the head. Then you want to draw a smaller one down like this. And since I made the, the circle so squished, that means that his head would be kind of pointing downwards. So this so if this was supposed to be Sonic the spikes would go up like you get the picture but this is not Sonic this is an OC and when I look at this I think I'm like a dynamic action pose of him like trying to power up or something. Now, this is a step that I think is somewhat important, but it is hard to explain why I call it this this step. It's called the bean. Every Sonic character has a modification of this bean shape on their mouth. And to give it depth, it goes off of their mouth a little bit. And then you want to erase the extra line that, that went inside. And this guy looks like it would be frowning.
actually, he would look more menacing if he had a smile. And then, let's give him somewhat of what I gave Zeron for his eyes. But, to make it look more menacing, let, let, let's bring this one closer down. And then this one goes higher up. Oh, that curved didn't work right. And then, you want to bring this one up to that height, but then add like an eyelid. And then, I think maybe add something like this. No. Okay, let's just scrap the eyes idea. For now, at least. What kind of nose should we give him? I'm thinking maybe... That. Now... Actually, this gives something like like Sonic has, with the eyes. Make this go down farther. Now. I'm going to lower this. In the wrong way, apparently. There we go. And then, add an eyelid like that. And now he got like 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 a very like hey there. But this I is a bit too long and too skinny. But uh, I did that. You gotta move this eye over. And now, it looks like he's looking at you. Now. <coughs> let's, let's do the ears. This guy's obviously going to be a cat, from what I just did. Actually, I'm going to bring in that head a little. Now, it still looks a bit weird, but trust me, when I add the, the fine liner, it'll... This is what I mean by fine liner. <clears throat> Two. 
ready to solidify these lines then it will look a bit better and it's a bit mischievous in a, in a way okay let me go on something that I gave Emily he has this and this that's just a spike that 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 goes centralized like this and now for the legs And then the arms are, nor are normally the same color as the mouth, so. I just imagine him being, being like, hey, what's up? Kind of like what, what, what Sans does in Undertale when he makes a joke. I normally draw these digitally afterwards, so if I make 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 a line too skinny, I can fix that in the digital drawing. <clears throat> but I'm not that good at drawing hands, so I'm just gonna do what what I normally do, make it to where he's just got his fist on his hips that one wouldn't work it's be longer this direction And let's give him a sonic belly. Which means now now I'm seeing the position I gotta move this leg like this because that way he's standing more forwards and then the shoes you can just do whatever you want I normally go for for Sonic shoes which I do differently sometimes this time I'm gonna do it like modern Sonic and go And then and because this one's farther in the back it would be not <coughs> all the way to this this end And it looks a bit weird, but oh, jeez, he just looks like Sonic, but but with Ray's head a little bit. But you get the picture of what <clears throat> of what of what normally needs to be done if you're drawing a Sonic character. Then the fine liner.
I'm just doing a rough sketch over. I'll probably jump cut and then show you the final product on my 3DS. Once I get his outline done. And that's not going to be colored in. Well, it's going to be colored in like that because it connects to the head, but... Still, and I'm gonna just color in that part of the shininess. In fact, the nose is supposed to go like that. Now, onto the 3DS. One thing I should probably mention is that I have drawn um, my other OCs on here. This is Iran, then this is Emily, then here's my friends OC, I don't use reference images, I, ju I just go with what feels right, then this is that Sonic Ink combination that I was talking about, and yep, he drew Knuckles. And he's pretty proud of himself. Like, eh, that just turned out pretty good. And, yeah, I, I just take a screenshot of my, my, my reference drawing. And then I do the outlines. And then I color it in. I'm not just, I'm not gonna show it on this. And then here's the error Sonic. Yeah, there's the modifications like that. Used to, those two used to be floating, but I decided to connect it with with like the blue strings that that error sans has. Now, the one I'm most proud of is probably Emily, because I think she turned out the best. And I'm going to show you the process. I removed the reference image, but the reference image wasn't the background. Start off with the base colors of what she looked like. And I'm going in and adding the shading. Okay, so I don't know why I glitched and removed her top layer of the outline because that wasn't supposed to happen. Then, Xeron, I accidentally drew out an angle so he looks a bit flat. 
but he was the second one I, I recreated. And that's him done. Okay, now that you got, well, now that I have his, um, him drawn on the Nintendo 3DS, I can think of what, what color to make him, and then I can add the shading, and then he'll be done. It's also at this point where, where you can add extra details, like, I'm thinking of adding some bangs right here. And now it's just an older version of Tails. With weird looking ears. But you get the picture. Color them in. And then add shading. And then boom. You're finished. I'm actually going to end this video off here because it's gone on pretty long. Oh my word. I just realized what his name would be. Tonic. Like tonic water. He just looks like a combination of Sonic and Tails. That's all I can see now. What has been seen, it cannot be unseen. Just. There. Tonic. <laughs> Why? Why? It's so hard to come up with with original characters because pretty much everything has been done. And then you end up drawing something and then it ends up looking like something else. This was supposed to be completely based off of nothing and now it just looks like Sonic and Tails combined. It literally just looks like if they done a fusion dance and... Hold on, actually... Patara earring. There, Patara earring. <laughs> Dipped into Patara fusion. Yes, I'm I'm critiquing my own drawing. Oh no. Ain't gonna be able to get this image out of my mind now. This is probably the worst looking of the Sonic OCs that I've ever drawn. Probably because I didn't put much time and effort into it. But, eh, what are you, what are you gonna do? Alright, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.